All right, are we live rolling? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, seven o'clock. Uh, call the Westfield Washington Township Advisory Plan Commission order for June 15, 2020. Will the staff please call the roll to note the presence of quorum? Ms. Bertman? Here. Graham? Present. Mr. Horkay? Mr. Horkay? Mr. Johns? Here. Dr. Kelleher? Here. Mr. Maui. Here. Mr. McCarty. Here. Mr. Schmitz. Here. Ms. Bolgeric. Ms. Bolgeric. I'll try one more time, Mr. Horte. Okay, we have a quorum. Very good. Thank you. Next Might up. want to remind people to mute their uh, speakers. Okay. So, uh, for Brian, if you're not speaking at the moment, uh, please make sure you mute your microphone. Um, next up is approval of minutes, June 3rd, 2020. Having had opportunity to review those minutes, are there any additions, corrections, or comments? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion. This is Maui. I make a motion to approve the minutes from June 3rd, 2020. This is John's. I second. I have a motion made by Mr. Maui, seconded by Mr. Johns, to approve the minutes of June 3rd, 2020 as written. Staff, please call the roll for the vote. Yes, I, I will uh, call the roll. I'm also going to call all members' names, even if they did not uh, show as present, just in case they joined later in the meeting. Ms. Berkman? Yes. Mr. Graham? Mr. Graham? Yes. Mr. Horke? Mr. Johns? Yes. Dr. Kelleher? Yes. Mr. Maui? Yes. Mr. McCarty? Yes. Mr. Schmitz? Yes. Ms. Bolgeric? Mr. Horkay? Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Ms. Howard. Uh, if you would please uh, review the rules and procedures for this evening. Uh, we have a couple of items up for consideration of approval, uh, one consent agenda item, and we do have a public hearing this evening. Yes. Due to the COVID-19 emergency, as declared by the governor of Indiana, the format and conduct of the meeting has been modified to comply with executive orders regarding the conduct of public meetings, public hearings, and public gatherings. Relevant portions of the Indiana Open Door Law have been amended or suspended during the pendency of this emergency. For all petitions, tonight's meeting will have the following structure. The department will summarize the petition and describe what action, if any, is necessary to be taken. Then the petitioner will be given up to 15 minutes to present to the plan commission. The president will then call upon each member to provide comments, questions, or concerns regarding the petition. The petitioner will then have a chance to respond to comments. If a member of the public has any comments regarding a petition that is scheduled for a public hearing this evening, they should be emailed to planners at westfield.in.gov, which is also linked to the agenda, with the petition name or number included in the subject line. Those comments will be forwarded on to the plan commission members and the petitioner. Do general comments for plan commission members and petitioners. Please have your email accessible during the meeting so you can read new comments when they become available. And also please you mute your microphone when you are not speaking. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Howard. 
be moving on to the first item of business this evening. 2005-ODP-08, 2005-SPP-08, Grand Central Subdivision. Good evening, Planning Commission. For the record, Dane Crabtree with the Community Development Department. The items before you this evening are the primary plat and overall development plan for Grand Central, which comprises the entire real estate of the 181st Street PUD, which is located on the south side of 181st Street between Wheeler Road and U.S. Highway 31. These items received a public hearing at the May 6th Plan Commission meeting where there were no public comments. The items are compliant with all applicable standards and are ready for your vote this evening. Eric Douthit of Church Church Hiddle and Antrim is present this evening. He does not plan to present, but is available for questions, as am I if there are questions of staff. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Crabtree. Uh, we will go up and down the list of uh, uh, calling on commissioners as we normally do. Um, and I'll call everyone, even if they did not um, originally uh, log in in case they are present. First up would be Ms. Spall Jarek. Any questions or comments? Okay, Mr. Schmitz, any questions or comments? No questions or comments, thank you. Mr. McCarty, any questions or comments? Uh, no questions, thank you. Mr. Maui, questions or comments? No questions or comments, thank you. Mr. Johns, any questions or comments? No questions, no comments, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Horke, any questions or comments? Ms. Berkman, any questions or comments? No, thank you. Dr. Kelleher, questions or comments? None, thank you. I have nothing to add or ask about either. So um, we've been all the way through. Um, so at this point, I would entertain a motion. This is Maui. So I make a motion that we approve the, plan, the overall development plan. 2005 SPP 08 and 2005 ODP 08, with the condition that all necessary approvals be obtained from the Westfield Public Works Department and Hamilton County Surveyors prior to the issuance of an improvement location permit. This is Kelleher. I will second. I have a motion made by Mr. Maui, seconded by Dr. Kelleher to approve 2005-ODP-08 and 2005-SPP-08 Grand Central Subdivision with the staff's noted condition. Staff, please call the roll. Ms. Bergman? Yes. Mr. Graham? Yes. Mr. Horke? Mr. Johns? Yes. Dr. Kelleher? Yes. Mr. Maui? Yes. Mr. McCarty? Yes. Mr. Schmitz? Yes. Ms. Bolgerick? Motion carries. Thank you, Ms. Howard. We will move on to the next item of business on tonight's agenda. 2005-ODP-10, 2005-SPP-10, Hamilton Memorial Subdivision. Good evening, members of the commission. For the record, Kayla Burness with the Community Development Department. This proposal is for the overall development plan and primary plat review of one lot on approximately 54.6 acres located in the AGSF-1 Agriculture and Single Family Rural District. This project is located at 4180 Westfield Road, generally at the northwest corner of State Road 32 and Shady Nook Road. This item had its public hearing on the May 6th Plan Commission meeting. Since that meeting, staff has received no public comments. 
Also, since that meeting, one standard was found to be not compliant with city standards. The petitioner submitted a variance of development standard to remedy this standard. The variance was submitted in May and approved at the Board of Zoning Appeals at the June 9th BZA meeting. The overall development plan and primary plat before you tonight are now fully compliant and are ready for approval. Ashton Fritz of Fritz Engineering, as well as representatives of the project and owners of the property are here tonight. They do not plan on making any presentations, but are all available for questions. I am also available for questions should you have any for staff. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ernest. I have no questions or comments. Uh, Dr. Kelleher, any questions or comments? None, thank you. Ms. Berkman, questions or comments? No, thank you. Mr. Horke, questions or comments? Mr. Johns, questions or comments? No questions, no comments. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Maui, questions or comments? No questions or comments. Thank you. Mr. McCarty, questions or comments? None. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Schmidt, any questions or comments? None. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Bulgeric, questions or comments? Hi, thank you. I am here and I do not have any questions at this time. Thank you. Thank you. Let the record show that Ms. Bulgeric uh, officially has joined the meeting at 7 11 p.m. Thank you. Uh, if there's no further discussion, I will entertain a motion on the side. This is Kelleher. I will make the motion to approve the primary plan and over development, overall development plan 2005 SPP 10 and 2005 ODP 10, with the condition that all necessary approvals be obtained from the Westfield Public Works Department and the Hamilton County Surveyor prior to issuance of an improvement location permit. Second. <laughs> I have a motion made by Dr. Kelleher, uh, I believe seconded by Ms. Berkman, uh, to approve two zero. I think it was um, Cindy, but it's fine, okay. Randy, if you want it to be me. This is Kristen. Okay. If you guys would help me out and say your name when you when you do that is helpful. Um, to approve 2005 ODP-10 and 2005 Dash SPP dash one zero Hamilton Memorial Subdivision with the staff's noted condition. Will the staff please call the roll? Mr. Graham? Yes. Mr. Horke? Yes. Mr. Johns? Yes. Dr. Kelleher? Yes. Mr. Maui? Yes. Mr. McCarty? Yes. Mr. Schmitz? Yes. Ms. Bulgeric? Yes. Ms. Bergman? Yes. Carries. Thank you, Ms. Howard. Let the record show that uh, Mr. Horke joined the meeting at 7 12 p.m. We'll move on to our next item on the agenda which is the consent agenda, uh, Hamilton Memorial, single item. Um, I would entertain a motion at this time. Parque moves to approve the consent agenda. Victor will second. I have a motion made by Mr. Horke, seconded by Mr. McCarty to approve the consent agenda. Will the staff please call the roll? Mr. Horke? Yes. Mr. Johns? Yes. Dr. Kelleher? Yes. Mr. Maui? Yes. Mr. McCarty? Yes. Mr. Schmitz? Yes. Mr. Yes. Ms. Berkman? Did you call? Ms. Berkman, Berkman, yes. Yes. Mr. Graham? 
Yes. Carries. Thank you, Ms. Howard. Move on to our final item of business this evening. 2005-ODP-09, 2005-SPP-09, Monon Center Subdivision, and this item does require a public hearing this evening. Good evening, Commission. For the record, I am Corey Harris of the Community Development Department. The item before you is the proposed Monon Corner primary plat and overall development plan located south of 206th Street and west of Horton Road. The, pro the proposed plans are for 325 single-family residential lots on approximately 135 acres in the Chatham Hills PUD District. This item is scheduled for its public hearing tonight. It has been properly noticed and advertised, and the staff has received one public comment. Gordon Critz of Stoppleworth & Associates and Sean Downey of Arbor Homes are here to present, and I am available for questions for staff. Thank you. Thanks, Corey. Uh, we are, uh, this is Christian Rector with Arbor Homes. Uh, we are incredibly excited for the opportunity to bring this uh, to, to Westfield. I want to thank staff um, and the, the group over at Chatham with uh, Steve and Doug for working on this. Uh, this has been several months of work uh, that we have put into this uh, to, to bring the product um, and everything here into compliance. Uh, this, this portion is a part of the Chatham PUD that was zoned back in 2014. Uh, as Court mentioned, we've got two, 325 lots here uh, that is in full compliance with the Chatham PUD. We have been uh, working with our architects and our engineers to make sure that ensure that we meet our all architectural standards. Uh, we are really excited about some of the amenities we're going to be providing um, in this community. Uh, I will point out that that includes over a mile of eight foot wide asphalt trail throughout the community, three pickleball courts, uh, a gazebo and fire pit uh, area, a pool and clubhouse, as well as a playground and park. Uh, as I mentioned, we've had to work and develop our, our product um, to work through the architectural standards, uh, which we are in full compliance and we will not be asking for any variances on. Okay, do you have anything further? Uh, re ready for any questions you guys might have? I'm sure there are a few. We will first hold the public hearing. So this item does require a public hearing this evening. Open the public hearing on 2005-ODP-09. 2005 SPP 09 Monon Corner Subdivision at 7 18 p.m. One email was just received that you should have in your inbox now. I will forward any more we receive. Pam, I have not received that email yet. I will I will mention while I wait for that to come through uh, that I know we did receive uh, the email from the Shirley's um, with concern about the product type. Uh, we do have a meeting scheduled with them tomorrow night. That is a property owner um, that is adjacent to us at our uh, northeastern corner, uh, just north of our common area there along Horton Road. Okay, thank you. And one additional email did just come through that we will forward. 
Pam, this is Jenny. I, I have received and read the email. You have? Okay, thank you. Do we have any other emails other than the one, Pam? Yes, an additional one just came in that I'm sending now. As the petitioner, have you received those emails yet? I have not. Sean, have you? I, I this is Corey Harris. I just sent both uh, comments to you and Sean. Ms. Howard, do we have any other emails other than the two? I've received the first one. We do not. We should have received one um, from Teresa and one from Greg. Okay, I have Greg. All right, if there's no further emails that came in, I'm going to close the public hearing at 7.22 p.m. It's a little bit unusual, but I'm going to ask you for the fairness of uh, some people may have not received it. Could I please ask you to um, read those two emails so that everyone has the same information? Yes, I will read them. Um, the first one is from Teresa Shirley. It says, I live at 20478 Horton Road sitting next to the development. We have lived in Westfield for 26 years and 19 years at this property, inquiring for more of a buffer pond on the north side with mounds and trees. And then the second email is from Greg Shirley. Can the pond on the south side of the property be moved to the northeast corner to increase a buffer between the Shirley farm and the development? Also the eight inch the eight foot wide path not run parallel next to the Shirley's property. And that's the end. Okay, for the benefit of uh, Tishner, those are your public hearing comments. Uh, I'll give you an opportunity to respond to those and then I will call the roll on the commissioners that may have questions or comments for you. Okay, um, the first one um, with regards to the pond, I do know that we are not able to relocate that. Uh, that is our main, main drainage outlet that ties into a drainage, uh, a legal drain to our south. Um, so we, we do have to, in order to comply with all, all drainage uh, <clears throat> requirements, have to leave that where that is. Um, as I mentioned, we are meeting with the Shirley's tomorrow um, and we would be more than happy to discuss the path and, and buffer with them and um, potentially make an amendment before we come back next month. Okay, thank you. Um, this is Sean Downey with Arbor Homes. Um, I'll, I'll speak to that as well. Um, as Christian noted, um, it, that pond on the south side does tie into an existing legal drain, but strictly from a topography standpoint, the pond being up on the north edge toward the Shirley's property actually puts it at one of the higher locations. So that's not really conducive when you talk about draining the area, putting a pond kind of at a high point, so. Yep, thank you. Anything else before we start asking questions? I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, I would just say, you know, obviously you're, you're going to meet with the people who made the public comments, uh, certainly uh, providing information back to staff, uh, any of that information uh, through our staff that can get information back to us. And then certainly it's your, when you come back up next time, uh, would probably um, highlight those things, whether you are able to uh, make any changes to satisfy the uh, uh, people who spoke or not, uh, just keep us informed via staff. Uh, I don't have anything other than that. Dr. Kelleher, do you have any questions or comments? Uh, yes, I do. 
Um, the original Chatham Hills PUD was approved in 2014, um, and the pictures of the homes in that that would be in Chatham Hills were all taken from Bridgewater. So I understand why, why these people are, uh, the Shirley's are now a little um, concerned that all of a sudden we now have Arbor Homes. Not that we have anything against Arbor Homes, but their product type tends to be a lot different than what the pictures uh, in the PUD were. I did talk with staff today, and I also talked with um, some of the Chatham Hills developers, and they said that um, Mr. Downey and Mr. Rector were working with staff um, to make sure that the architectural standards that are in those pictures that are from homes from Bridgewater will be incorporated into their homes. And I understand they are even developing some, some potentially new models for this. So I, I am pleased because I'm sure that the Shirley's um, were looking at those pictures back in 2014 when they thought there was going to be a development next to them. The second thing, which I think uh, Mr. Rector and Mr. Downey are going to be addressing is the um, Shirley's. The pictures of the landscape uh, that you have have the berm not continuing all the way to Horton Road. And I think probably that section from Horton Road to the edge of the Shirley's property is one of the really the only areas on the perimeter of this development that really needs buffering. It's going to be a huge transition from their large lot and farm to fairly high density housing. So I am hoping that you will work with them on adding or moving some of that landscaping along the northern border <clears throat> to, um, to abut their property. Um, and even potentially moving the path, um, curving around and coming in farther south on Horton, off of Horton Road um, to protect their privacy. Um, one of the other things that I did notice, and it's just a suggestion, you have pictures for streetlights and you have two pictures. They both appear to be fully shielded, which is wonderful. One of them does have frosted glass and the other is clear glass. And you might want to drive around at night and see the difference between those two lights because certainly the frosted glass gives a lot softer um, view to us in a subdivision. And if they are both equally um, illuminating to protect you know, people on the roads and sidewalks, um, I, I think in general a, a softer light would be a, a preference in this area. It's only a suggestion, not a requirement. Um, one of the other things I am, I talked to Corey today because this, although it is under the Chatham Hills PUD ordinance, it is not actually a part of Chatham Hills PUD. So they will not have access to the clubhouse or anything else unless they like you or any of us decide to join. So I was concerned that I did not see uh, any amenities. I did talk to Corey and I, the petitioners alluded to there is going to be an amenity center with, with what looks like um, a fair number of amenities for this subdivision. And I'm happy to, to hear that. Um, the only other question that I have for staff uh, when they look at this is that in the Chatham Hills PUD, it talks about 20% open space and a few other requirements. And I just want to make sure that this section of it, which is now kind of a standalone thing, does meet those requirements. And I think that's all I have. Thank you. This is, this is Chris. Uh, I do believe we actually have over 30% open space here. Uh, it's actually just shy of 35% with 47.1 acres. Um, and I appreciate you uh, looking into the product. Uh, we, we are very excited here. Uh, th this is going to be unlike any Arbor subdivision uh, we have ever done. Uh, we only have a few that have the hardy plank on it, and we're going even above that with uh, some of the architectural standards that we do need to meet to uh, meet the, Chat the Chatham PUD's requirements. So uh, we're very excited. It's going to be the highest price point uh, we have ever offered. Um, it is going to be, we expect it to average um, from day one around 350 uh, and be pushing that 400 mark pretty quickly. So it is, it is not your traditional Arbor neighborhood as many have come to, come to think of, 
of our company, uh, but we are excited about that to branch out and uh, have the opportunity to be a part of, the, of this. Uh, and as you mentioned, uh, is not going to be uh, required to be a member at Chatham. Uh, like, like any of us, we'd have to pay, pay the membership fees and join, which obviously they can, and we expect many of them to do that given the proximity. Uh, but in, in looking into that, uh, that's why we wanted to make sure we were providing those amenities uh, with the pool house, with the pickleball courts, with the trails, uh, and everything there to, to take care of our buyers and future homeowners. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. Um, and again, you have really one neighbor, <laughs> and that's the Shirley's, so make them happy. <laughs> we, we will do our best tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Berkman, any questions or comments? Yes, thanks, Randy. Um, I'm not going to repeat everything that Jenny just said, but I just want to say that I second everything that she just communicated. And I'll just add that um, I am concerned about the Shirley family. I do think this is a lot of density next to them that they probably did not anticipate initially. And I know in one of their letters, they mentioned a fence. And so I, I'll let you have the discussions with them. But I, if I was, was them, I would want a fence because this is going to be a lot of people, a lot of children. And a lot of times an AGSF1 residence has some things maybe around their home um, that could be dangerous. I don't know about their property, but it's just they don't want others roaming onto their property. And so with that, um, I know there was a four foot mounding also on this and I'll let them address that. They may want something um, taller with the fence to help protect them. So I just want to reiterate what Dr. Kelleher said on that, on that family and also thank the petitioners because I know you both just said that you were meeting with them tomorrow and would try to work out a good agreement. So I really appreciate your willingness to do that and we'll uh, look forward to hearing what's going to, to happen to protect the Shirley family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Horkey, any questions or comments? Everything would be basically repeats, so I won't do that, but I was particularly interested in a lot of the things that Ginny brought up in regards to architecture, knowing that there will be a meeting that uh, should work out things with the neighbor. That's some of the most important information to have available for the next meeting, and chances are I'll be good with all of that and nothing further unless something piques my interest throughout the rest of the discussion, in which case I'll chime back in again at the end. Thank you. Mr. Johns, any questions or comments? Uh, I, I agree with uh, everything that Jenny said. The, what I would add to it is that I really appreciate the landscaping plan. I, uh, I love the number of trees. I think that uh, the petitioner has really, has really adopted and followed the spirit of uh, the landscaping plan for Chatham Hills in general. Um, the one question I have, and I haven't talked to staff to see if it's even feasible, but I noted that the, uh, that the mound uh, that's buffering the Hinkle Creek Farms is four feet, but the mound that uh, buffers 206th Street and Horton Road is only three feet. And uh, if there was any way to increase that three feet to four feet, uh, I, I think it would only make it better. But um, that's, that's my only comment. Thank you. Mr. Maui, any questions or comments? I have no questions and no that haven't already been stated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. McCarty, any questions or comments? Uh, so I, I, I try not to uh, duplicate what Dr. Kelleher said. Uh, again, uh, just uh, like others, I completely agree with everything she said. Um, I'll be transparent in saying that uh, my parents have lived in Hortonville since I was in high school, and I know this area very well. And um, 
some neighbors are, are not too happy with the, the level of density that's coming out this way, given that it will be the highest density neighborhood uh, pretty much in the vicinity for, for a, a span of area. Um, but uh, And I uh, did live in Arbor Homes in Sonoma as well, so I do have experience with that. Just, again, want to manage that for transparency. Um, I, too, was uh, concerned with the quality of the homes, but I, I did appreciate you mentioning that it'll be unlike other Arbor Home divisions, and uh, you'll really be stepping up um, the quality and the standards for this. And uh, having the 350K starting price point, I think that, that'll be a good way to start it off. Um, again, with the amenities fulfillment, I want to make sure that everything that is promised in regards to amenities is fulfilled because we've had a problem with that here in Westfield of uh, developers promising amenities and them not being built. So want to make sure everything in that regard is built. And uh, again, I, I want to echo the comments of just making sure uh, the neighbors are, are happy with the final product, especially the Shirley family want to protect them. Because uh, again, this is a very, um, at least in my opinion, historic area of Westfield with the way it has been for very many, many years. Um, and we want nothing but the best as we continue to develop out that way. So uh, those are pretty much just my comments. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Schmidt, questions, comments? Nothing additional. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Bolgeric, questions or comments? Uh, yeah, I just want to do, and, and I want to really say thank you to everyone else who has weighed in because I agree with all the comments. Um, I would hope that we have a timeline for each of the amenities, specifically each amenity to be provided. I would like to know the exact timeline on how that's going to fall out. As Victor pointed out, we've had issues with that before, and I want to make sure that, that we're all on the same page on what's coming and when. And, and, not leave anything up to chance or market or anything else. Um, second of all, this is just an easy one for staff. I was wondering if someone can do a total unit count on Chasm just to see where this lays in the overall unit count, uh, just to give a better sense of thank commission about the build out on this. Uh, I do have those numbers. This is Corey Harris. Sorry, I have those numbers. If I can send them to you. Yeah. You're going to send them to her, send them to all of us, please. Yes, sir. And Sorry, Ms. Paul Jarek, did you have anything else? No, I did not. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anything else from the commissioners before I give the petitioner one more final time to speak? Okay. Um, Tishner, have anything else they'd like to add this evening? Um, I don't think we necessarily have anything to add. Um, I just want to make sure I have everyone's concerns uh, <clears throat> clarified. We'll look into the uh, frosted first clear glass in the street lights, um, the fence and buffering along the Shirley's property, uh, the potential for a four foot mound along 206th Street. And then the biggest one, it sounds like, which um, I'll need to get with Sean and our engineers to figure out. Um, it are, we don't obviously, it's tough to propose the exact sections of how this will be developed, um, but we have no problem um, committing to a uh, certain lot count or whatever that triggers um, when each amenity needs to be planned. Given where the pool is, I, I envision that's going to be going in probably with our second or third section, same for the pickleball um, and the pickleball courts in the gazebo fire pit area. Uh, the playground is a little tougher to uh, place just given that it's a little farther on the western side of the development, but we should be able to dig in and, and figure that out. Obviously, when we want to get these amenities uh, available for our homeowners, um, they'll be calling and asking us to get them put in as well. So we, uh, we'll, we'll work through that and when we come back next month, we'll, we'll have an answer as to uh, when we propose those to go in. Appreciate that and we'll look forward to reading that uh, prior to the meeting next time when you guys are up. Uh, does the staff have anything further this evening? Yeah. 
We do not. Okay. No further business this evening. Um, I'll make a motion to adjourn. This is Jenny. I will second. Motion made by Randall Graham, seconded by Dr. Kelleher to adjourn. Staff, please call the roll. Dr. Kelleher? Yes. Mr. Maui? Yes. Mr. McCarty? Yes. Mr. Schmitz? Yes. Ms. Jarek? Yes. Ms. Berkman? Yes. Graham? Yes. Mr. Horte? Yes. Yes. Mr. John? Yes. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you.